Hi, in this tutorial we'll be looking at lighting in Play Canvas. When you create a new game in Play Canvas, you'll have directional light there in your hierarchy um, to start with. And a directional light um, basically has all of the light rays coming from one direction. So if I click on the directional light here, over in the inspector panel, we can um, see its different values like its position, rotation and scale. We can also change the color of the light, so we can make it like more of a, a yellow light. Uh, and we can also increase its intensity to make it brighter or make it darker. And also we can enable shadows if we want to, so shadows can be applied to different models. With a directional light, all of the light rays come from one direction. So if we grab the rotate tool and rotate the light, you can see that the light is coming from one direction and pointing in one direction. So there's an arrow here, a little white arrow, and that shows where the light is actually pointing. Okay, what I'm going to do is delete this directional light. So now there is no light on this scene apart from the ambient light in the background. And I'm going to add an entity. And we can see here that we've got three different lights to work with. The directional light, where light rays come from one direction. And we've also got point light and spotlight. I'm going to add a point light first. And a point light is basically a sphere of light that shines uh, light in all directions. A little bit like the sun. So I'm going to grab the translate tool. I'm going to move this point light up so it's not underneath the ground. And we can see that if I grab the rotate tool and rotate this light, it doesn't really change. Okay, it doesn't matter where I point this light or where I rotate it, it's going to be the same because the light is shining out in all directions. It's a sphere of light. Okay, if I move it using the translate tool, that light will move around. Okay. And just like the directional light, we can change its color as well. We can change its intensity. So I can increase the intensity of the light. I could change the color a little bit, maybe make it like a, a bit of a red light. And I can change its range. So at the moment, the range is 10. I could make that 20. And if I moved it up, oops, let's just change then. If I move it up a little bit, you can see it can go out of range. So if I lower this range to 10 again, can't really see the light at all on the ground. If I make it 20, you can see it now. If I make it 30, should be able to see a bit more of it. Okay, let's change that back to 10 and move it back down. And you can see in the, um, I've got my player window open. All of these changes are updating live in the player. So you can see what that looks like. So I could do that again, I could increase the range and go back to the player and now it's a little bit different. Okay, a few other different um, settings we can change there. We can also add shadows too. So that's a point light. It's a sphere of light that shines in all directions. I'll delete that. And this time I'm going to add a spotlight. And a spotlight is just what it sounds like. It's a cone of light, a little bit like a torch or a spotlight. Okay, so we've got a spotlight here. It's like a cone. It's pointing down on the scene at the moment, but it was actually underneath the ground, so we couldn't see it. So if you ever find that you add a light and you can't see it, it might actually be inside an object or underneath something. So we've got a cone of light pointing down at the moment. We could rotate this like that. Okay, we could change the color again. Okay, we could increase the intensity, or we could type a specific value in here. And we can also change the range as well. Okay. What we can also do is we can change the cone angles. So um, changing the cone angles basically can make it narrower or wider. So we could change that 10, 1. 
So we can make it a narrow light like that. We've got inner is one and outer is 20. And we can increase that a bit to make it wider. Okay. And again, we can enable shadows as well on this. Okay. If you're going to enable shadows on your light, um, so if you're going to, on the spotlight or any other light, if you enable shadows or cast shadows, you need to make sure that you also enable cast on the actual models that you've got. So you can see now that there's a, a bit of a shadow there. Not much, but there is a bit of a shadow there. So just to show that a little bit more, we might move this light down and move it across and there we can see it's now casting shadows. Okay, so on all of your lights, on spotlights, on directional lights, and on point lights, you can enable shadows, but you need to make sure that you also enable shadows on the objects as well. So tick that box, cast. So now if I turn that off, there's no shadows. If I turn it back on again, there's shadows. Okay, one last thing I'll show you for this tutorial is how to remove ambient lighting. So at the moment, there's this lighting here that we've got on our little in our little scene here, but there's also ambient lighting in the background. So if I go to the root there, or sorry, actually, if I go to the scene, so if I click on the scene, I can access the scene settings. If I go to rendering, I can change the ambient color to a darker color like black, and that removes uh, the ambient lighting around the scene. So um, if I go back to the preview, now we only have um, this light here. We have no ambient lighting around. Okay, so you can make the ambient lighting brighter. I'm going to have a look at that again. So we've got ambient lighting around here, or we could make it darker. And there's no ambient lighting now. All right, just by changing the ambient color to a darker color like black. All right, that's all for this tutorial. Um, so just remember there's three different types of light, directional light, point light, and spotlight. And there's a range of different properties you can change with those as well um, to make your scene uh, a little bit more realis realistic and really come to life. Thanks for watching.